nanotechnology, the study of minute particles known as nanoparticles, their design and subsequent applications is a sector that's expected to hit 70 billion US dollars in the next five years, according to a recent study by Global Industry Analysts Incorporated. And in this video, I'll break down in depth what nanotechnology is and how it can be applied and why it's a sector you should be looking into. But just before I do that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest from Kalkine. So what is nanotechnology? In simple words, nanotechnology is the branch of science that involves seeing and regulating atoms and molecules. Every form of matter, be it solid, plasma, gas or liquid, is made up of tiny atoms that are next to impossible to see through the naked eye. Nanotechnology manipulates the whole molecular structure of materials to change their intrinsic properties and acquire others on the back of evolutionary applications. The idea of nanoscience started with an American Nobel Prize winner called Richard Feynman. In 1959, the renowned physicist became the first person to speak about nanotechnology and its applications at the California Institute of Technology. Over time, the nanoscience concept branched out to include other areas like micromanufacturing, organic chemistry and molecular biology. It's an area that's gone from strength to strength, with the US having invested over $18 billion in the sector between 2001 to 2013 to help stimulate economic growth. But what are the different types of nanotechnology? Nanotechnology is categorised based on the medium on which it works and whether it follows a top-down or bottom-up approach. Descending or top-down. In this method, the process and the structures are shrunk at a nanometric scale of 1 to 100 nanometers in size. Ascending or bottom up. The bottom up approach starts with a single nanometric structure, for example, a molecule, and through a mounting process creates a more significant mechanism than the one that was there initially. Dry nanotechnology. This particular method is used to produce structures in inorganic materials, coal, metals, semiconductors and silicon that don't function under humidity. Wet nanotechnology. Wet nanotechnology is based on biological systems that are present in the aqueous environment. It includes genetic material, enzymes and other cellular components. So with all that said, where can nanotechnology be applied? Nanotechnology can be applied in almost every kind of industrial sector, but it's primarily used in the following spaces. Firstly, it's used in electronics. As this field is itself based on similar concepts, such as shrinking electronic components. Basically, nanotubes are closed to replace silicon as a material to make smaller, faster and more efficient devices and microchips. Energy. Nanotechnology decreases costs and produces lighter and stronger wind turbines that improve fuel efficiency. And fortunately, the thermal insulation of some nanocomponents can also help to save more energy. Biomedicine. Some of the nanomaterials properties make them ideal for improving early diagnosis and treating cancer or neurodegenerative diseases. For example, nanomaterials innocuously attack cancer cells without harming other healthy cells. Environment. Nanotechnology is used in air purification with ions and nanofiltration systems for heavy metals. Also, nanocatalysts are available for making more efficient chemical reactions and less pollution. Food. Nanobiosensors can be used for detecting the presence of pathogens in food or nanocomposites. This can improve food production by increased mechanical and thermal resistance and decreasing oxygen transfer in the packaged products. And it can also be used for textiles. Nanotechnology is used to make smart fabrics that are both stainless and wrinkle free. This technology makes the material sturdier, lighter and more durable. Things such as body armour, motorcycle helmets and sports equipment all benefit from nanotechnology. So whether you realise it or not, 
nanotechnology is incredibly prevalent at every juncture in society. In the pursuit of further technological advancements, with increased government support and private investment, it's likely that the space will continue to grow at an accelerated rate into the future. If you enjoy the information contained in this video, then make sure to like, share, comment and subscribe. And of course, don't forget to press the bell icon to stay across the latest videos from Kalkine. For more information, just head across to the website, kalkinemedia.com. I'm James Preston for Kalkine.